was a family should get a news report of Mary Death between the Mary Leach days October the fifth, twenty nineteen. So they say it's about four forty two in the evening. Just got back not too long ago. Had to do a little situating before I do the wrap up portion of this video. Um I didn't want to take the bus back, you know, thank God I didn't, because I, I came across a whole bunch of good stuff, you understand what I'm saying? I try to um, monopolize my time as much as possible the best way I can. I came across this um, right here, this uh, little flyer or whatever, say, we buy houses cash, going out to my real Mary McAmyris. It says, any area, any price, any condition. Call any time, and then it has a number. Uh, I don't promote other people's stuff because they're not paying me for none of this. Um, we buy unwanted houses, condos, apartment buildings, vacant lands, self-storage facilities, and commercial properties. We can help solve your problems. I don't have no problems as far as money is concerned. And it's got a deer selling thing on it or whatever and stuff. You know, see, people wanted to take me out the game because they knew I have the money to, well, wipe up, you know, all the land. You know, because when I used to go to the wholesale stores back in the day, you know, I would get all the merchandise. And by the time the, the, the people on drugs woke up and came to get some stuff, I had wiped the wholesale stores out. Pretty much. You understand what I'm saying? For real. And it's the nigga that get the first shot and the early bird catches the worm, right? So they they know I'm a good business lady. So they're like, oh, we got to get her out the game. So that's what this is all about. Um, you know, I found out a lot of good information and stuff, you know. From a little walk today or whatever and stuff. But the killing part is, you know, when I left, you know, a certain individual... You know, was smoking like in front of the building or whatever and stuff. They know when I'm coming and going. They just try to do anything to just get on my nerves. I just uh, go right by and don't say anything. They're not supposed to smoke in the hallway, but they do that too. They do anything to try to get my attention and stuff. You know, so on the way back in, you know, some turn turn around. You know, and this guy he didn't have his shoes on and stuff. And I turned around. He had some shirt 33 on. And, um, you know, he had a garbage bag in his hand, and I turned around. I'm looking like, you know, you know, I ain't say nothing, but it looked as though he was following me. And then when he noticed me looking at him, he stopped and went back to some other, you know, door or whatever and stuff. And then I was about to move on again, and then here he go, and I looked back again. You understand what I'm saying? And then he looked at the camera, and then by the time I got to, you know, my door, you know, my neighbor next door whom, you know, know I was in um the county jail or whatever, for some reason or another. I guess she think we friends or something, but the people when I first got here told me don't talk to anybody and you know, I've been here over two years and I don't socialize with none of them. But they been in my place as if, you know, they live here and stuff. You know, I told you about the incident where they you know, tore down the cabinet and stuff and it took forever for them to put it back up. It ain't like they put a new one up. They just kind of pieced it back together or whatever. And then the guy upstairs flooded my, you know, bathroom. You know, I don't know. Maybe it's the smooth voice or something and stuff. I don't know what it is. But uh, don't take it for, you know, granted. Because, you know, my Mary McMyers already know to watch out for all my haters. But look, I said that to say this. You know, I don't socialize with nobody. So why, when I'm just about to put the key in the door, you listening or they didn't text you to come out or whatever the case may be because the camera right by my door so they know security know you know they could just text a person or whatever and then you come out or whatever and stuff you know time is everything right and you know she come out trying to talk to me and i'm not trying to look don't nobody want to be bothered just coming in the, in the in the crib and stuff and then you got somebody with you that i don't even know you understand i don't even know you so what makes you think i'm gonna talk to you and somebody that i don't know and stuff you try to introduce me to your sister i didn't even want to I didn't even go for that. So, you know, you know I ain't finna go for no guy. You know, look, they trying to find some kind of way to start some stuff because, you know, the closest get the most is right. Not only that, they say don't, you know, don't, don't, um, 
don't play where you lay, right? So that's why I don't socialize with these people because, you know, I got this, you know, I got to go to sleep sometimes, you know, and I don't sleep, believe me, for real. So, uh, you know, I just hope she get this video and just, you know, don't put me on blast like that, you know. You know, sometimes I joke whatever when she in the office, you know, whatever and stuff with the rest of them, but, you know. I'm not a kid, okay? They're young, and I don't play them games, right? So, you know, I'm not here for that. So, yeah, basically, they're just buying up all the property and stuff, you know, because people own drugs and stuff, and they're selling stuff for a little bit of nothing, just like David Ruffin did in The Temptations and stuff. So they know I'm sober, and they thought if they get me high, like they, you know, kidnapped me and threw me on the psych ward in 2016, that I'll be a dope fan, but I'm peeping all this bullshit, nigga. When it comes to money, nigga, I'm up on everything and shit. Even when I was a crackhead, nigga, I wasn't a crackhead and shit for real. I was peeping game, nigga. Real talk. So, you know, they giving niggas cash and shit. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, that shit gonna run out and they gonna have to, you know, it's like a motherfucker saying, I'll give you cash for gold. You understand what I'm saying? And diamonds. When you know the diamonds and the gold is worth more than the cash. So you want it, what, a dollar? It's eight cent or something like that. Mm, you know, it's real fucked up, man. It's all bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just saying, for my real Mary McAmara, step your game up because, you know, now they coming close to my door with that bullshit. And, you know, anything that happened to me, you already know. No hoes bar, for real, because they know I ain't got no gun. I got this though hat. I did get something, you know. From the flea market for five dollars. It's nice and warm and shit. It's nice quality. Got these jogging pants for a dollar and shit. Cause I like working out and stuff. You know, they kind of cool or whatever and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be all that no more. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't got time. To, what? What? I, I don't party. I ain't got a girlfriend or a boyfriend. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't got a car, so I got less responsibilities. And what they thought I was gonna be a slave? Shit, nigga, you better pay me. That's what you better do. Ain't no fun if I can't have none. So I just work out and do what I got to do for myself and mind my business. If motherfuckers mind their business, wouldn't be no problem. So the um, scripture is um, Revelation chapter 7 because I, I had that yesterday and I it was like a two for one, but I wasn't looking for that one. But uh, I'm going to do this one and stuff because... You know, it's winding down. I ain't finna can do, do these videos for these silly ass motherfuckers. Let them figure it out for themselves, right? They know my my shit is gold, nigga. Oh, they go that Second Chronicles chapter eight again. Solomon's accomplishments, or we can go with the Queen of Sheba, chapter nine. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Either way. They don't pay me enough to give a fuck. You understand what I'm saying? And that's why I don't give a shit. I just do this shit to piss them off, to tell you the truth. And that's the honest guy's true. You understand what I'm saying? You know, they should have never crossed me. Because now they got to... They got to really... Uh, look over their shoulders because I'm catching their ass left and right. Yeah, so Second Chronicles... Chapter 8. Yep. And do Revelations. Chapter 7. Yeah. They can't put no fear in me. I, if that was like a little scare attack, they wouldn't. I slammed the door in the face because, you know, I got my bag. I'm trying to, you know, get situated. Nobody wants to be harassed as soon as they get to the damn door and shit. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't my girlfriend. Shit. The fuck? And then my ex-girlfriends, they wouldn't like that shit either. Hey, y'all, step y'all game up. Y'all know what time it is. These young motherfuckers think they know something. Donna Marie Evans, you know I still got love for you and your son and stuff, but I got to tell the truth. That's the only way that we can get this money for real, for real. Got to put the past behind us and move forward and shit. Real talk. All my ex-girlfriends, y'all know what time it is. It's time to step your game up. Real motherfucker talk. So when they start coming at my door, you know, I feel some kind of way. And I work out every day. All I need is a gun, though, and I wouldn't fucking win bad eye. Tell you the truth, half the time I don't even need a gun. I think I might be able to take it from them. That's how cocky I'm starting to feel about myself. You know, when you scared or whatever, not scared, but, you know, when a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what that motherfucker do. Now, I'm not scared of me motherfucker, but I'm just saying, don't come at me by my door. 
for real. So with that, this is your girl Newsport of Maryland, Dash Between the Maryland Lay. No hoes bar. Peace.